If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And this is my story about the miracle weight loss drug, Ozempic. <laughs> and it's actually my horror story. So, hello, hi friends. My name is Lori. Welcome to my channel, Unbox Life with Lori, a nightly vlog where I tell stories wearing my pink robe, uh, where we talk about all different kinds of life stories. And so... Tonight we're going to unbox this story about my horror story about Ozempic and why it's not right for everyone and why there's a certain group of people who should probably never even be prescribed Ozempic and I'm one of those people. So that's an important part of the story. So where do we begin? How about all the way back to 2020? In 2020, in March of 2020, what happened? <laughs> I should probably be doing this video about autism. My grandson is autistic. He is non-verbal autistic. And he is a handful to say the least. Now non-verbal does not mean that he cannot talk because he can say words. It means that he cannot communicate. <clears throat> he can't put words together to form sentences. He can say things like pizza or mine or angry. But he does not communicate. Uh, in fact, not only does he not communicate, he just makes loud screaming noises if there's something that he wants. I mean, he may be screaming right now because uh, he wants you to turn the channel, or you don't turn the channel fast enough, or he may want mangoes and it's midnight. Uh, all different kinds of reasons he's not being abused, he just screams at all different times of the night. So that's a little bit about autism. Um... You know, right now the autism numbers are, the numbers are off the charts. And um, I think the scary thing for about that is um, what's being done about autism. Um, like I said, the schools are full of autistic children. Um, and I know there's different levels of autism. Um, but I also know there's many children that are just like Theo. And it's seven Theo is already very aggressive. He is um, very strong. He um, is extremely destructive. And he's seven. So my concern is, who's going to take care of all these autistic children when they get older? Right now, a big story on YouTube is about a little boy. His name is Sebastian Rogers. And he's 15 years old, and he is autistic, and he lived at home with his mother and stepfather. And um, it sounds like, in the, and, and he's missing. And it sounds like what happened was the stepfather couldn't handle Sebastian, the 15-year-old autistic boy. It was probably a handful. And so I'm going to guess something happened to Sebastian. We don't know. One night he just disappeared. He went out to eat dinner with his mother. His stepdad was out of town, three hours away working, supposedly, whatever that means. And Sebastian Rogers vanished into thin air. And then we started hearing all the stories about Sebastian, about how the stepfather uh, would get his belt and he would spank Sebastian with a belt and his stepfather would make fun of him. And um, his step and Sebastian, they, they made Sebastian wear a pull-up, which with anybody with the, uh, who's got a, a, a kid on the spectrum, um, you know, I can understand that. <laughs> uh, bathroom problems, bathroom accidents, that, that, that's a huge thing. Uh, my grandson is seven. It's something we struggle with daily. I pray that he grows out of it, but... Right now, I'm not thinking he's going to. Um, so what's going to happen to him when he's 15? He very, very well likely might have to be, might have to wear a pull-up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened to Sebastian Rogers. I don't know if um, he had, there was some accident. I don't know if it was easier for the mother to make him disappear 
I doubt very highly that he ran away from home. Um, you do hear stories about autistic, autistic kids running. They will, they will open the door and they will just run. Theo's done it a couple of times, but the, Katie, the mother said from the very beginning that Sebastian was not a runner. He also left in the middle of the night with no shoes on. Um, and when you hear different people talk about Sebastian, they talk about how he would never go anywhere without his shoes on. So I don't believe that in the middle of the night, Sebastian ran away in the dark. So where is he? Um, then, 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 then we have his father, his real father, uh, a man who claims to have spent lots and lots of time with his son. Uh, this man also claims that uh, he doesn't want his son on medication. Well, Sebastian um, has a hard time sleeping. And that's a huge thing. Yeah. Many, many children on the spectrum struggle with sleep because their brains are not producing enough melatonin. So to help that, you give them melatonin. And many times that will help them sleep better. The 70s never slept through the night, but the melatonin does help. Well, Sebastian's real father didn't like him being on melatonin and claimed that he would just give Sebastian sleepy time tea and that would help. Anyway, I call BS on that, too. I, I just do. Raising an autistic child for the last seven years, sleepy time tea is not going to help. Furthermore, Sebastian Rogers, the missing 15-year-old autistic boy who vanished into thin air, the whole story has become a crime. It's, it's become a circus. The parents are are not searching. I know not only are they not searching, they're creating GoFundMe accounts, collecting all kinds of money. They're requesting money to be on any kind, to be interviewed. And, um, it's just a circus. It's just a freaking circus. So I do pray that Sebastian is found soon. Um, just so that we all have answers to what happened to poor Sebastian. But uh, again, with autism, there's a lot of stories out there about autistic children that go missing, and we need to pay a better attention to these stories, and we need to educate ourselves on how to live with children with autism because every single day is a struggle. And if you have an autistic child, just be careful the people that you bring into your home because... In order to take care of an autistic child, you've got to truly love them because they may do nothing but scream for five hours straight. And um, discipline does not help an autistic child. You can train them and help them maybe not scream, but you can't spank them. Um, you can't put them in a corner. Um, the, Anytime an autistic child is overwhelmed, they go into something called a meltdown. There are no words for me to try to explain to you what a meltdown is like. <laughs> um, it's like their brain is overstimulated and they just kind of go crazy for a little bit. And once again, you, can, you can't take a belt out and spank an autistic child and spank the autism away. That's not going to help. Uh, so, if nothing else, maybe Sebastian Rogers' case, we can bring a little bit of awareness towards autism. Things that will help autism. Figure out what's causing autism. And you know what, Elon Musk, with all your money, with all your Tesla cars, digging holes in the ground to create tunnels and sending spaceships up to space, why don't you put some of that money towards autism? Because for all of y'all who don't know, Elon Musk is on the spectrum. He's on the high end of the spectrum, but he is definitely on the spectrum, um, and, and he will say that out loud. But my biggest question is, why with all that money that you have, with all that power you have, have you not given any of that money to research to help figure out what the heck is causing this autism? Anyway, that's my shout-out to Elon Musk. Hey, Elon, I hope you're listening. <laughs> I doubt he is, but... Uh, Maybe we all need to shout out to Elon Musk and say, instead of digging holes and, and going off to space, why don't you 
help figure out what's going on right here on planet Earth. And then, and then, and then we can go off to space and explore. Anyway, that's my rant for the night. My name's Lori. This is my channel, Unbox Life for Lori, where we talk about everything life. And tonight's topic was autism. Uh, if you've watched this long, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm a new YouTuber, and I'm learning a little bit as I go along. And I'm trying to figure out my lighting, my backdrop, and... I know my sound isn't very good, so I'm trying to figure out ways to make the sound better. Uh, so I'm just trying to learn along the way, and um, yeah. And I like to end every vlog by saying this. Please remember to always be kind, because like me, you never know what someone's going through. And your kindness may just be what makes their difference. So just remember that. Okay, bye for tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.